Hey, you, 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 right there. Y'all see it. Watch this video to the end, boy. All right, man, so it's a it's a lot to unpack. In order to do this right, I think we're gonna have to, we gonna have to just pick. You don't, you don't really have to go in no order or nothing like that. But we just gonna have to talk about one thing at a time. We're not gonna make this some long drawn out, two, three hour, blah, blah, blah. It's not gonna even be a part one or part two. I'm gonna say what I got to say for this. And, and that's gonna be, we gonna move on to the next. A lot of these conversations we about to have these next few episodes, I believe that this is like stuff that I usually talk about off the camera. Talking to a lot of the youth. I'm Myself being from Chicago, going through what you had to go through, depending on your era or whatever. I'm not here to have one of those when I was coming up on this neither. But I'll just say that I always been the type of person that I come from a common place. And people that come from a common place, we often relate to our environment, things that some of us overcame a lot of different things in life. So if you was fortunate enough to even make it past 18, let alone 14, 15, and then you go off and then you hit that milestone 21 and then if you're really blessed you can make it to C30 and so forth and oftentimes you know every era always witnessed the changing of the guard when we on the brink of a new era a lot of things that's going on right now it's sad man it's really sad I don't know why it just feels so different this time you know what I mean it's like a movie you know and I watch a lot of movies man but this is like some real motion picture stuff right now that's going on right now in real time. You see this stuff all the time and you see how this story play out over and over and over again, man. And now, we don't want to blame it on anything, but I gotta say, man, some of the stuff that's out here right now is just being used as a tool. Like, everything that we do, even like this YouTube stuff, even social media and all this stuff is just like one big tool that you can either use for the good or the bad. Whatever it is that you choose to use these tools, I should say. I really don't like talking about another person's downfall. I mean, with all the scandals and all the crazy stuff that's going on in this world right now, even like this big distraction of an election or being distracted from that, you got that other guy that's incarcerated right now and he's fighting scandal after scandal, lawsuit after lawsuit. And then you got this. It's all over. I don't really even care to... You know, we from Chicago. A lot of stuff we don't speak on. If I could be honest, when you live a certain lifestyle or when you sign up for something, whether it be good or bad, you gotta accept what comes with it. Whatever game you play, you gotta accept what comes with the game. That being said, the game is the game. I know to some of you people, it might be just foreign to you, but when we talk in the streets and when we talk street politics, if it's any, if that even exists, but we not gonna even go that far. We gonna unpack that on another conversation, but I'ma just say the game is the game. What I mean by the game is the game. People that come from a common place, y'all already know where I'm going with this. So just bear with me while I kind of not even dumb myself down, but just kind of bringing everybody up to speed that might not understand what this means. I mean, it's not just a, a quote that you heard in a movie. Previous episode, I was talking about Kawhi Leonard and, you know, him, should he retire and all this stuff, that, all this hoopla around that. Separate discussion. I was saying that injuries is a part of the game. That's another Another way of saying like the game is the game. You gotta accept what comes whatever with whatever you sign up for. So like if I sign um, a multi-million dollar contract to play basketball, play an X amount of games or but or whatever the case, and then somehow, some way I end up getting hurt in the line of duty. I get hurt in the game doing what I'm getting paid to do. And now I'm stuck with a dilemma. Should it happen? No, but that's a part of the game. Injuries happen a part of the game. The game is the game. So in street terms, like, so if you're a drug dealer, if you're a killer, if you, whatever role you decide to play in the streets, you gotta think about the consequences before you do whatever you're doing. Accept those consequences. Accept whatever come with it. If you out here beefing with people, you got to know it's protocol. You gotta accept what come with that. But somehow, some way, for whatever reason, I mean, this is a long discussion. This has been talked about so many times that you, you often, we often talk about how at some point we lost our way in society but and most importantly in the streets like we already know we are far removed from 
the rules and the parameters that come with these streets. Now, we're not talking about everybody that's a law-abiding citizen. Even if you're a law-abiding citizen, the streets has its own politics. That's just what it is. Even like now, it may not be as political. It's just a little more reckless, a little more lawless, a little more unethical, so to speak. I remember when, even with gangs and stuff like that, the gangs made the streets safe to walk just as much as law enforcement growing up in the urban communities. Now, I know as society taught us, you know, gangs is like the wrong thing. It's the worst form of manipulation there is, and that's true. However, some of us refer to these gangs as organizations, and in these organizations, it's a lot of upstanding individuals, and they did certain things out of the sense of hopelessness. Obviously, it wasn't that many opportunities open to us as it is in other communities and other areas, so to speak. You know what I mean? Everybody didn't grow up with a silver spoon in their mouth. Sometimes you end up learning things that maybe you shouldn't learn, or maybe just different things to where, as you don't have a choice, you learn different means to survive. You learn a different type of skill set. So not even to jump off into that, but you just got to talk about these things. And when we sign up for things that's in the streets, either whether by force or by circumstance, at some point in time, you got to accept the consequences that come with this thing. And then if you're lucky and if you're blessed, you're able to live to see another day and have another 24 hours to change your life around and try to turn it around for the greater good. Most people, most decent people will do that. Or if you've been through something, whether it's the bottom of the bottom, and a lot of times, you know, your circumstances don't really have to define you. I mean, there's more for the youth. It's more to the youth than meets the eye. I mean, a lot of times, a lot of this stuff be a cry for help the way things go. Others, they just, it's the blind leading the blind. For example, when I say the game is the game, if you killing out here, killing, stealing, whatever you're doing, you got to accept the consequences that come with that. It was an old saying said, you know, there's only two ways to go in these streets, dead or in jail. Very few beat the game. Very few. And from this thing of ours, the, the selected and the chosen few that beat the odds, they end up doing, going off to do even greater things for those that are upstanding and can live to see these times. And it's a lot of great men and women that beat the odds and turn their lives around for the greater good. Good, not letting their past define but with these kids these shorties out here a lot of them don't believe in mentors don't believe in big homies because all they had was themselves nobody really taught them the right way of doing things so you can't never judge a book by its cover just by me going to these different neighborhoods like they say I'm from Chicago for those of you that don't know I have to say that because you know we all family here even against some of my family's best wishes I would go to what we call the trenches now to some people that's probably the most scary sight there is, especially at a certain hour. To be aware is to be alive. I made up my mind one day, I said, you know what, I, I will definitely not live my life in fear, and I'll be damned if I'll be scared of my own people. I should be able to communicate with my people, young and old. Yes, you do have some ignorance here and there. You, you do have obnoxious people. Yes, everybody is not the same. I often go into the places where it's like what we call it, religious terms, I'm the type of person I like to go in the fire, as opposed to just being there person that's on the safe end looking at looking you know what I mean like looking at the the, the voiceless you know what I'm saying and, and really talking to these guys and talking to these people that's frowned upon in society and scared you know they might be feared because they're not equipped with everything or maybe not even playing with a full deck however that don't make them trash and that don't make them something that you should fear all we need is a little understanding a lot of times there's no opportunities here so we forced into savagery and this is what we and then it's a lot of ignorance to go with that because nobody has no rules or parameters and so a lot of the times what you see the culture as far as the streets go you've seen a lot of senseless killings mothers daughters kids that can't even walk the street safe it's not even a playground you can go to where kids can have fun you know there's certain things that we used to enjoy when we was kids not even going off into that this stuff just doesn't exist with the society nowadays we got social media a lot of things that didn't happen on social media everybody's you know it's popular to be the guy that incriminates themselves it's cool to be a snitch when there was a kind of stuff wasn't even tolerated. Back to my original point, the game is the game. For years, it's always been a Judas in every organization. It's always been backdoor issues. There's always been problems with somebody. Backstabbing, the story is always the same. That's why you got a hundred million movies like that, whether cheesy or not 
cheesy. This is a clear case of art imitating life when you watch these things. Just the fact that I'm sitting here talking to you guys on the camera. What makes it worse is the betrayal behind it. The back door. And we in the back door era. Everybody been getting back door for ages. But a lot of things is popular now that's accepted in this society that is unbelievable right now. It's no rules. It's no parameters. And nothing. And I'm just speaking for the streets right now. And I'm not even talking about it as I know it because the streets different right now. And that'll bring me to my next episode, but the streets is different.